Alright, here I am cruising down the highway in northern Wisconsin, heading over to Minnesota. And I'm going up just a slight grade, doing about 70, and I'm pulling a trailer. And it kicked up to like 3,000 RPM. And there's two ways of thinking about this. You can either leave it in third, and in this truck it's, you know, first, second, third, and then overdrive. And I'm running it in overdrive right now, but you can just leave it in third gear if you want to, um, especially around town. If you're driving around town under 40 or 50 miles an hour, just leave it in third all the time, whether you're pulling a trailer or not. Now, this is straight from a transmission guy. I know because I spent $2,000 putting a new transmission in this truck. Now, see, it just dropped back to 2,000 RPM because we're going down a slight grade. Now, a lot of the area around here is flat in Wisconsin and Minnesota. It's not so much uphill and downhill like Tennessee or Kentucky where I would just leave it in third gear and drive about 65 and it would run about 2,800 to 3,000 at times depending. But right now we're on a nice flat surface. I'm doing just a hair under 70 and it's running about 1,950, right at about 2,000 RPM. Because it, it shifted into overdrive. Now I am pulling a trailer back behind here. There we go. I can see it in the mirror. But I'm pulling a trailer about a oh, 14 foot wide. Sticks up a little bit. It's it's tall enough inside the trailer you can stand up. And it's a tandem axle trailer. There's not a lot of stuff in it. If it was really loaded down, I would also click it down into third gear, so it's not shifting in and out all the time. Now, see, we went quite a ways because it's so flat around here and it just stays in second. Now, you get a little better fuel economy. Now, watch, I'll just pull it down into third gear. See, and she clicks right up to about 28, 2900 RPM. And you can leave it like that and then it just won't shift in and out. But the guy said, because of the pressure in the valve bodies and stuff, if you're just driving around town, he said, I tell my wife, don't put it in overdrive, just put it in drive. So it's not shifting in and out, because it'll jump up to overdrive at 40, and then you're really putting a lot of pressure on the transmission by trying to, it's kind of like trying to pedal a 10 speed in 10th gear going around town, shift it down and it can do a little easier. So all the time, when I'm in Nashville, I run it in third gear, all around town. When I get up in the morning, I start my truck, I'm gonna go to the store or shoot, even shoot out onto the interstate for a little ways, up to about 60, down to the next exit to go to Kroger. I just leave it in third gear. So it just seems to pull a lot easier. I haven't had a lick of trouble with the transmission, and these Chevys are, I got a 2001 Chevy Tahoe, and they're just atrocious for blowing up the transmission. So hopefully it's a tip for you guys if you've got a Suburban or a Chevy Tahoe or anything like that. Just leave it in third around town and if you're pulling any kind of trailer, you know, I could back it off. I'm in a little bit of a rush here. I'm trying to reach a warehouse before 8 o'clock tonight, so I've got it up around 70. But normally if I had anything at all in the trailer to speak of, I would have it in third gear, run 65 and run about 2,800 RPM. But you know, we're going up the hill right now. I'm going to go ahead and shift it into drive, and it'll still stay up at 3,000 RPM until we top the hill here, obviously. Sorry about the camera shake bouncing around on these roads here a little bit. Now it should shift down on its own. There it goes. Dropped right back down to 2,000. So if it's nice and level and the trailer is empty or you've got a smaller single axle trailer, where you don't really know it's back there, you can run it and drive uh, once you get up past about 50. But if you're running 50 or below, I don't even bother with overdrive. Now see, I just went up a slight grade and it kicked back up again, and now it kicked back down again. And if you don't want your transmission to go in and out, in and out all the time, just leave it in third. But uh, and I might do that once I get up here a little ways. I'm kind of going down a hill and flat, and then it's going to be going up off in the distance there, so I might as well shift it into third when I get to the bottom of the hill anyway. But hopefully that's a good tip for you guys. Your transmission will last a lot longer around town 
If you'll have your wife and yourself drive it and just drive, not in overdrive around town. It's plenty of high legs in there. First, second, third gear drives around town up to 40 and 50. Um, no problem whatsoever. See, now she kicked back up again. So I might just pull it down in the third. I'm going to pull it in third right now and just leave it there so it's not going up and down because we're kind of going through some rolling hills. Hopefully this hasn't taken too long to explain and uh, it'll be helpful to you. You'll save your transmission. If you've got a truck that's got about 150 or 200,000 rounds on it, man, drive it and drive and you won't be replacing the transmission anytime soon. All right, hope that's a good tip for you and I'll talk to you later. Steve Hall signing off.